Welcome to this tutorial and today in game I'm going to be teaching you how to make my YouTube background. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get started. First what we're, first what we're going to do is open up uh, my layout. Okay, um, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go view 100% and I'm going to full screen this. Alright, we're going to move it over to here <coughs> and we're going to delete uh, that layer. Alright, that's good. Okay, that's good. <coughs> First, what we're going to do, actually, I think we need to zoom out some more. So, we're going to go view, zoom, the image to window. And uh, on the background layer, we're going to fill it in with a light brown color. So, like this. Alpha to selection it. And on the fill bucket tool, click fill whole selections and fill that in. We, we're going to actually delete this background too. This gray layer. Let's just press delete. Alright, then using our rectangular select tool, we're going to take a brown color like this <coughs> and make this window a little bit bigger. And actually, we can select select none alright select the background there and we're going to make a uh, line like this and fill it in with brown and you can select none uh, we actually should do that on a new layer so make a new layer and fill it in with brown and you can select none we're going to duplicate it and move it over a small amount over to here like that and we're gonna merge the two down or merge the two layers down <coughs> so that they're one layer and I'll be back once I finish putting it across this whole thing okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge this down so that it's on the background layer uh, okay now what we're gonna do is alpha to selection each one of these little pod things and go filters or fill it in with uh, white actually what you're gonna do is check lock alpha, alpha channel and then fill it in with white you can uncheck the lock alpha channel actually you should keep it checked then go filters render clouds uh, solid noise turn the detail to 15 and click OK you can select none then what you're gonna do is go colors color balance and turn up the blue to about 58 and cl click OK you're gonna do the same thing for all of these layers I'll be back once I finish that okay now once you're done with that we're going to uh, alpha to or we're gonna merge all these layers down so click merge merge and merge again then what we're going to do is alpha to selection them make a new layer below them and fill that layer in with black select none then go filters blur gaussian blur and give it a blur of about 50 and click ok that's good we're gonna zoom in to 100 percent that's the about about the amount that it should be and I may have made the lines a little bit too big but that's okay we're gonna view fit image to window then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, paintbrush tool and put the mode or and then use these different um, brushes and we're going to uh, merge this down and we're going to make a new layer above this and then uh, put the scale on around 15 maybe a little bit more that's good and splatter away with a black brush and I'll be back once I finish with that 
All right, now what you're gonna do is take the flip tool and put it on horizontal, duplicate this layer, and then just flip it horizontally. Next, what we're gonna do is put each layer mode on on a green merge or green, sorry, green merge, and we're gonna do the same thing for this layer, green merge. All right, <clears throat> and you are done. We're actually gonna flatten the image and then uh, what we're going to do is uh, th you can actually extend this all the way down but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial it's not that hard and you're going to take this brown color that you used and put the layer mode on FG to transparent and then stroke up that way you have a bottom Solid, a solid, solid bottom color that you can put as your background. That way, the background doesn't just end. All right, <clears throat> you can put it on the sides too, even though it doesn't really need it. And that is how you make your own background in GIMP. That's how you make my background in GIMP. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, or how to make a YouTube background in GIMP. Thanks for watching this tutorial. <laughs>